Hello YouTubers and welcome back to another installment of Dragon Age Inquisition. I am Charlie from Shutri Games. If you remember from last time, we finished the quest In Your Heart Shall Burn, so today we will start the quest from the ashes. We will also do some exploring around Skyhold to see what it has for us. I'm not going to activate the quest just because it's time consuming. Now, what did they make down here, and what can I make? So the Undercroft is essentially the best forge ever. So we'll see what Herod has to say about it. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though, it'll be alright. It's Inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. You think it's strange to say. It's stranger to hear. Don't let it go to your head. We need you level. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You did what you could, I suppose. We left in a hurry, but you got into your old place. Save anything? Family Ammer. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's good to be back at work. How is this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade, but ever forward. That's not. I'll for be me. back later. I'll be here. So we've got our potion station, Skyhold customization, which is pretty awesome. We can change the banners in here. I'm gonna change them all to uh, Dalish for fun. I don't know if the bed's unlocked yet or any drapery. Heraldry, I'm gonna go Dalish. Decor, I don't have unlocked. Throne, that thing is beastly. And I don't have any, un any un other ones unlocked, sadly. And I can do Ferelden or Inquisition windows. I'm gonna do the Inquisition windows. Um, the only place I've really noticed those windows and hangings are in my bedroom. <coughs> Which, if I remember correctly, doesn't actu isn't actually here yet. They have to rebuild the area. Alright. Got some schematics. So I'm gonna go ahead and check these out. What is my weapon right now? That's impressive. Anyway. I have a lot of crap, holy moly. Alright, so 62 is the bow that I'm using right now. And I could make one worth 81. I could make a hunting bow worth more than what I'm using now. That's pretty impressive. But the nice thing is it'll look just like my other one, so that's cool. Eh, maybe I'll do that later. For now, we have things to do. I can just figure out which door goes where. Because I believe that door was, or goes to my bedroom that I can't get to yet. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if like you baseball? like, Commander, but we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Tedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Norlay will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. 
Uh, perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orlais. And soon. Uh, apparently, I need 30 power to start Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts, which <clears throat> is a bit more than I have. That's the downside to not side questing, but I just don't have time to show you all the side quests. That could take 40 hours. So we're going to go speak with Varric. See what he's got going on on the battlements. He's kind of a pain in the butt to find because everything over here is kind of collapsed. And I think there's an easier way around, but this is just the way that I know. So I'm gonna go this way. And I really should search. There's a lot of cool stuff in this castle. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first, but after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. You heard about Haven? I have. That's why we're here now, and why I have battlements instead of balconies. May they serve you well. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him. And he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well. Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. So in my other game, I went the Templar route. Which does eventually lead to the same place, but it's definitely a different storyline. And I have to say, I enjoyed the mage storyline better. The Templar storyline... It's more fighting, if you like. You know, more of the action-packed kind of thing. Um, whereas the mage one is a little Majestic. more clever. How is a place like this ever lost? If you're wondering, you will still get both Cole and Mr. Mustache. You'll just get coal first in the other one versus the order was sent. second, like you yes, did Commander. in this one. But this violates everything we know about the Fade. So it does. 
Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. A demon, more likely. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. Explain why he was in my head. Cole warned us about Corypheus at Haven. He saved a lot of lives. We cannot know the true motivations of a demon. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Or it could be right there. You have to be so damn suspicious all the time. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Moonwalking. Everybody see that person just backwards fade through the screen? That's pretty awesome. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close. With so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes. But here is where I can help. Every breath Pretty sure slower, I just propositioned him. Like lying in a warm bath. Sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. Might as well. Your crazy hat needs to be here. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes. Helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's... Someone hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. I like how they make you choose whether he can stay or go before they make you make this decision. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. All right, well, that ends the forgotten boy. Good to know.
Welcome back. Let's take a look at our quest, shall we? Here lies the abyss. Looks like that's going to be our next goal. We need to get six more power for that. What can I do in Skyhold? Not a whole lot, it looks like. Um, mm -hmm. I could go and talk to everyone, but that's not really getting us anywhere. So, get off that post. Seriously. I would jump over the post, but then I ended up talking to Sarah, and I really don't want to. So, for all those guys who are laughing about me getting stuck on things when I can just jump over them, that's why. I'm going to go back to the hinterlands. Eh, maybe not. Let's see. What should I do? I have quite a few things I could do over here. Uh, tapestry or any requisition will give you one power Possibly two if it's big enough, but I think it's usually only one I'm gonna do holding the hinterlands. That sounds like it could give me Some power. I know there's a way to check to see how much it'll give you, but I can't remember how So we're just gonna have to live with it It's amazing how much of this I haven't done yet Alright, well it looks like Solus can level up, so we're going to go ahead and do that quick. Or I'm lying. Oh, just kidding, found it. Alright, what else does he have? Oh, he's still frosty. Okay, so if you get far enough in as the Inquisitor, I think your people have to like you enough. But they will unlock a new tree from which to learn things. Cassandra does Templar, Varric does Artificer. Ah, oh, interesting. And Solus does Rift Mage. Um, everybody has their own. Again, you have to, I'm pretty sure you have to make them happy enough with you to unlock that. I know in my other game, I only have my main um, three or four that have that ability unlocked. Oh, I never actually did level him up though, did I? We're gonna go ahead and give him Mind Blast. Sounds like fun. I suppose we'll pack everybody into the saddlebags so we can get here quickly so I can get back off the horse and kill these things. Alright, get off the horse. I think they may have heard me.
I do not believe these are simply bandits. Their armor and training suggest something deeper. As far as rings go, you'll find ones that increase your ability duration by 30%, and the other ones will increase your um, ability damage by 30%. Both are pretty handy, but not the best rings you can get. When you come by a purple jewel, well, jewelry, whatever. Accessory, there we go. Come by a purple accessory. Your defense is prepared ahead. Those are Prepare good Prepare yourself. That has got a lot of health. And armor. Oh, that's why. Yeah, because I'm hitting him like eights. here what the hell seeing they've bolstered their defenses since I uh, progressed the story lurkers are one of the most annoying classes in this game they poof, they strike, they come back. They're really difficult to not die from because they deal so much damage when they come out of hiding. Uh, my inventory is full. That's unfortunate. Warrior level 9, not anytime soon. I don't have the person who can actually wear these, so I'm getting rid of them. I will go get him on another occasion. Not right now. He is on the Storm Coast. He's pretty easy to get a hold of, though. Pretty much walk in, kill a couple bandits, and you're good to go. Tempted to mountain goat, but I highly doubt I can actually get up this wall. Um. Oh, come on! I was so close. You can't just not let me go up here. That crossbow is remarkable, Varric. I am surprised the dwarves have not made more of them. The woman who made Bianca would rather that not happen. Yes. Wars are bloody enough as it is. A crossbow that fires this far and this quickly has... with so little training, every battle would be a massacre. Indeed, I am surprised, not disappointed. Roads are for chumps. Just be careful, falling down does hurt. And you can get stuck. There's that too. Also, the nice thing about getting stuck is you can change who you are and you can get yourself out of the hole. The problem is you don't always have a party with you. So sometimes you get stuck and you're on your own. You're kind of screwed. There's always fast traveling though, so that's nice. Really? I walked up like a sheer cliff and you're not going to let me walk up that? Fine. Decent spot to camp. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I did this for power and I'm not entirely sure I got power. Got some influence. Actually unlocked another Inquisition perk, so that's cool. Now, I have completed holding the hinterlands. Nothing to report, sir. And before I start next time, I will probably have enough power to continue on the Inquisition quest. But for now, this looks like a great place to take a nap and rest up until next time. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. Hope to see you in the next episode. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Take care now. Bye-bye then.